What is up YouTube, Holy Peps here, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to properly install your Blue Yeti Pro mic, and I'm going to go over some troubleshooting issues that I've had in the past, and hopefully this will help you fix your problem. Because if you follow these steps, I can almost guarantee that your mic will be working by the end of this video. So first off, we're going to pretend like we've just already had it installed, we've tried everything, blah blah blah. You're going to want to go to Start, Device Manager. Click on this, and this is these Con USB 2.0 audio devices. This is your mic. If it does not show up here, then it will be under Universal Serial Bus Controllers. This is where a majority of your USB devices are, and it will show up with a a random check mark or not check mark, but a uh, a warning mark saying that the driver software is improperly installed, there's hardware issues, this device is not working properly, whatever. It'll be, they'll say a problem with it. So it'll be very noticeable. So first off, we're going to uninstall it because I hate when tutorials are like, I'm going to show you how to install something or fix the problem, but I'm not willing to uninstall it because I don't want to deal with troubleshooting issues. It's like, nah, man, you got to do that. And also I got to unplug this. Uh, no. Okay. So, I've unplugged it and uninstalled it. So, everything's good now. Now, you're going to want to go over to the Blue website. I'll have it in the description. And you're going to want to click on their mics. You're going to pick out the mic that you got, and you're going to download the driver software. There are two softwares, at least for the Blue Yeti Pro mic. There's driver software A, and there's driver software B. Determine whether you're an A or B is determined by your mic. If you look underneath it, there'll be a USB symbol right here. If you have that, you're driver A. If you do not have that, you're driver B. Pictures will be to the left of me explaining in better detail. That way you don't like accidentally install it the wrong way or install the wrong software. But you're going to want to plug in your mic after you've done this. Okay, as you can see here, it says installing so driver software, and it's going to say it failed. So, number one thing you need to remember is this is a paperweight without the driver software. That's all a blue mic is, is a paperweight. Nothing more than a paperweight. A paperweight. Okay, so if for whatever reason uh, blue mics goes out of business or something, you should always keep the driver software on hand because their mics are awesome. I highly doubt that they will do that, but again, if they, for whatever reason, two years from now remove the driver software from their website, you will have no way of getting it unless you go to a third-party website, which could contain viruses, because I'm sure a lot of people will be doing that. So, just keep it on a USB device, keep it on your computer, figure out a place for it. Uh, my driver software is B, and as you can see here, these folders are zipped, right? These are zipped folders. You will instinctively want to click on it and extract files, right? But you do not extract these files or it will corrupt the drivers. And this is a problem that many people had because sometimes they'll install properly when you want to zip them, but a majority of the time they will not. And that's a major problem I found out with these. So just double click double click go to setup right here all right if it tells you uh, that when it's already on just click OK and if it tells you uh, it's still having problems unplug it plug it back in simple as one two three All right, and it's successfully installed, and there's no problems. All right, guys, uh, I've actually found out something by doing this video. I was actually having a problem with my AV Media capture card and my Blue Yeti Pro mic, and I was going to add that in the explanation, saying that I don't know if there's a fix for it yet, but I've noticed that whenever I had my AV Media capture card plugged in and my Blue Yeti uh, mic plugged in, 
and I actually had my Avery Media Capture Card running, it would mute my Blue Yeti Pro mic. When I go into System Sounds, I go to Recording Devices, my Blue Yeti mic would not work whatsoever. It would just act like it's muted even though it was on. And it was on full blast. There is no sound coming from it either. But when I unplugged my capture card, the sound would immediately return and there would be no issues. So I thought it was not a driver issue, but I thought it was just a programming issue that the Avermedia capture card would suppress all other mics or it would do something along those lines, which I thought was really weird and really stupid. But it actually turns out that it was not either the case, and it was a Windows problem, because I recently have formatted my computer, that's why my desktop is all nice and neat, but uh, I recently formatted my computer because I kept thinking the blue screen to death because of a uh, memory management error, and I didn't know how to fix the CBS logs. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. And yeah, so it seems like that was the problem, it was a Windows error, so if you have uh, if you're having this issue, just format your computer, uh, use a system restore, do something along those lines, because most likely that will fix it. I know the most dreadful thing to do is to format your computer, but as long as you have the Windows CD and you have pretty much all, you have your motherboard CD for your drivers on your motherboard, it's not too bad. It should take you about two to three hours, and it's pretty much a permanent fix for this kind of thing. Anyways, guys, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.